good morning. It is six in the morning. Six in the morning. So what we're doing today is we're heading to Calaveras Lake. We're about to catch some fish. That's the plan. Uh, first, what we have to do is we have to catch bait and get worms. So um, we might get to Calaveras Lake at the perfect time and uh, get the baits out in the water as fast as possible before the run. The sun really rises and uh, we can go ahead and catch some of these early morning fish. Stay tuned. All right, so we're about to pull up to Calaveras Lake. Entrance is about to be there, but I don't know if y'all can see these trees, but they are moving. Uh, this wind is way higher than I thought it was gonna be today. So, I mean, hoping it's gonna be going the right direction so one you I can get some good audio and then two I can actually get some baits out as far as possible and there's a lot of wind here so we'll see what we can do get this cast net out and see what we can catch I mean so I hope y'all can hear me today because Man, it is. The wind's kind of whipping, so I'm gonna try to stay out of the wind, especially when the GoPro's on. Hopefully, I can get a good spot where I don't have to worry about that. But we're gonna make a cast right now. seven but uh no one has a reserve so this is our spot for today this is actually where we were when we were catching all the other reds the small ones so hopefully they grew over there and they're still around and uh we can go ahead and catch them like, i'm trying to put something in the cooler today so we'll see spot right there
for one of these big shadow cars. Uh, that's the one. Shed going right through the hard part of the nose. There we go. The hard part of the nose. It should be able to still swim. I Send it. That is the first bait out right there. This one going with a simple slider rig. This is actually one of the slider rigs I made for the, for the surf. Um, it's got two, I think these are one and a half ounce slider weights it allows it to still slide but it's a short slide and this one right here getting hooked Start juice worm, worm glow. No bites since the last one. Um, some boats. They've been passing by quite a bit. I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anybody pull anything up off off that. But uh, so we'll see what we can catch. I mean, I don't know. I don't see why we can't catch.
catch them with, man? <laughs> man, a worm. Oh, really? Yeah, I catch a lot of them. A lot of the reds out here with worms. Thank you. I don't know yet. We we'll, we'll have to find out. Hey, one question. What What's are you using for bait? Uh, just, I'm using worms. Worms? Yeah, I I usually catch all my reds off of worms out here. Wow, we usually cut like 19, 18. Yeah, I, I caught my biggest red out here off a of worm. It was 27 inches. Wow. That's big. But I mean, people have caught bigger ones than that though out here. He's about 20 and a half. Wow, that's perfect. That's perfect size. Yeah, I gotta hurry up and get this fish in the water. But I want to get back out there. That's the spot I have. I'm gonna use this knife right here. Use that knife. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut right behind that fin. Right behind that fin. Cut all the way down into the stomach. So what this knife is, what I'm gonna do is cut all the way down to the to the backbone. Flip it around so I can see it, but I'll show y'all here in a minute. Do is come down with this knife. So sometimes I like to use the the, uh, the fillet knife as well, but today I'm using this one. So I find that backbone just like I would with the fillet knife, and follow down that backbone. Make sure I stay on top of that backbone, just like so. Stay on top of that backbone. Sorry for the plane like that. Right down that backbone. Open that fish up. Just like so. All the backbone down. Just like you would with, with the fillet knife. All the backbone. Fillet knife comes into play. What you're gonna do is you're going to go lower than the rib cage. Right below that rib cage on top of the backbone. Come out other side of that fish. Come on the other side of the fish just like so. And we're going to come down right on top of that backbone. Yeah. Depending on how you feel about cutting all the way down the backbone like this you can always come back on this side just like you would any other other fish and finish for laying it. Make sure you stay on right on top of that backbone. What I like to do is or finish that, that, that fillet all the way off the off the fish. Now we come up here, come up here, finish that fillet off, open that fish up. A really big drum fish, anything really. What you want to do is get this back in of the blade with the serrated parts. And actually you're going to cut, fill it, and break. Cut now once you've done once you've broken all the backbones with that serrated in and if you miss any just come back in there and break it afterwards pull that fillet off and there you go got you a good fillet 
always lay down meat side down come on the other side just like so come on the other side the exact same thing yeah we are doing a catch clean cook today because we're doing this catch clean cook I'll be showing you how I can cook my red drums. What we're gonna be doing is baking this fish today. You know, once you got your your fillets, once you got your fillets all laid out, or the bottom portion of the fillet up, keep it the knife angle down. Clean it out, get that rib cage off of there. Get that meat off there. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna leave this hole. Most of the time I cut it in half, but I'm gonna leave that hole. And here we go again. Same thing. Right off the right off the skin. Take this inside. We're gonna cook it. See you in the kitchen. All right, we are in the kitchen. So uh, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be cooking that fish that we call that red drum. So we have it right here in this container. We're gonna have some sweet potatoes, and then we're gonna have some fresh cucumbers from the garden cut up. We got quite a bit of them. We have a tomato down in there, so we might incorporate that tomato in there. What we're gonna be doing first is we're gonna go ahead and start. Set to 350 and get that oven preheated. So we are baking this fish, and uh, when we get it baked up, we'll uh, see what happens. But start things off. Get some oil, and what I like to do is. Take the wrap it, we just wrap it all the way up. Make sure those ends are nice and tight, just like so. Put them in a pan, spread them out decently even, just like so. These are our fillets. I have deboned them and washed them off. Water going. We're gonna get some paper towels. Pat them nice and dry. They don't have to be completely dry, but get most of the excess water off. I'm gonna get you a pan. I'm gonna put that in there, just like so. And then you're gonna get your other one. Pat that one decently dry. Right for that. Boom. The seeping ingredients olive oil just so your fish doesn't dry out that's really what it's all about and it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan either so decent amount of olive oil rub that bottom portion in there olive oil just like that and now they're going to definitely move around once you got them all done up, we're gonna season it. All right, so we're about to season up our fish. We got slap your mama, a little ground pepper, onion powder, and my favorite garlic powder. We're also gonna incorporate this garlic herb seasoning, some rosemary, make sure you have a lemon wick. Our, uh, our oven is hot, so what we're gonna do is cut the ends up. Lemon off, put them into some wet, and you can 
can take the seeds out if you want to. I don't like seeds. So. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and start seasoning up our kids. I have a bit of a process that I do here. So, I like to start off with the more fine, fine ground uh, seasoning. So, start off with some garlic powder, onion powder. A little slappy mama because it does have a little spice to it. I love a little spice. Our garlic herb seasoning. Give it a little more flavor. And then top it off with some rosemary. You're gonna flip it over now. You said you're probably thinking, why didn't you, why didn't you season the bottom first? Top. Because I want that olive oil and the seasonings to mix together for that top side. We're gonna do the same process. Garlic powder, little onion powder. Got your pepper. Sloppy mama, garlic herb. The olive oil and the seasonings are gonna come together. So when I flip this over and while it's cooking, the seasonings are going to be on the bottom side anyway. And that's the way I want it to cook. Got all your seasonings on there, can you see that? You see that so uh, right? Got all your seasonings on there. This is where your lemon wedges are gonna come into play. I'm put one on there, leave it in the pan. Leave another one, leave it in the pan, got that. Two big of slices because you're going to put more than one. So you're going to put your butter on there just like so. Last thing you're going to do is get you another piece of foil, put it right on top, put it in the oven, put it in there. Set your cook time. Actually, we'll just do a timer. A timer. Twenty-five minutes. We set it and forget. First, we're gonna go ahead and peel this cucumber. All right. So peeled our, our cucumber. So now we're gonna just take it, slice it up. Come on. Guess who likes cucumbers? tomato make sure comment below all kind of mixed up get your garlic powder your onion powder on there pepper top on mix it around get it all mixed up after that this is gonna go in the fridge after it goes in the fridge it gets nice and cool when everything's done, the fish and the sweet potatoes, we're gonna come back, open this up, put it on the plate, drizzle with some, some ranch. It's eating time. Our uh, fish is not done yet. I know it's not done. I haven't checked it. But what I wanna do is, I want to give y'all a look at how it's turning out. Alright, so it's exactly what it's looking like. Got the little fats coming out of, the, out of the, the fish. It's almost done, but it's not quite there. But it'll be done here in about another 20 minutes or so. And uh, the fish will be ready, so stay tuned. Time went off. Oh, man. Got the smell what's coming out of, out, of, out of this oven right now. Moment of truth. Bro. 
Looks about the same, but it is done. Do a sweet potato. Open it up just like so. Florida crystals. Raw cane sugar. Sugar. Put that in there. And then of course you need your ground cinnamon. What I like to do is to chop up the sweet potato itself after I chop it up. Kind of give it a good mix. And there we go. We have our sweet potato. Potato. So we're gonna put the final touches. We put a little ranch, avocado on there, cucumber and tomato. All you need is a little bit, just a little bit. And then for the mix, let's go take it to the wife. Ready to taste test? Oh yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Let's try potato. So it was really good. Let's get into this fish that I've been smelling. So good. Let's see. So good. Taste the lemon. Yeah, the lemon. It's like very like fresh. Super good. And those are the cucumbers and tomatoes are fresh from the garden, so you know how those taste as well. Those are good also. This whole thing is really good. Well, I think I did alright today, so uh, that's my catch can cook. And uh, as always, keep fishing real.